are not duplicate of you. But we definitely have different views, different understanding. We have to disagree. But we have to disagree in order to agree. Because it is a positive way. So when you disagree, it doesn't mean that you are doomed or you should be considered as uh, someone who is a troublemaker. So this all in the Khutbah that we did today, you can add that to the community building on a one-on-one -on -one basis, on individual, how we love each other, because that diffuses the shaitan, that takes away all the evil intention and bring us, glue us back together and make us live as brothers and sisters for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We visit each other, when you see that the, the spirit is dying now, invite the brothers to your house. Slaughter a lamb, something. Let them come and eat and enjoy. You know, do something. The sisters can, Alhamdulillah, you know, it's just here going outside and feeding brothers, fine, Muslim, no Muslim, that's fine. But we still have to, you know, make sure that this is always uh, 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 important in our mind. And on an individual basis, as we talk, because this is the most important point here, the key word here is the Muslim community. And the community means that we all have to prepare the community from our homes. My wife, my children, my friends. If you, if all these homes are well and correct and following the sunnah and you know observing our deen, then the community will have no problem. But if your home is well, my home is not well. If your home is there, my home is ruining, then we cannot do anything. The Arab poet said, Mata yabnuhul bunyanu yawman tamamahu. Mata. When will the tall building reach its end? When When you build it today, the next day someone pull it down. And you are because your son will come to my son and my son will pollute him. My son will and, it, and mislead him. So you are building it and then you because they meet at school at playground more than you and I talk to them. So when you build, when you try to inculcate some good idea, when you try to Help him to grow. Then by the time he comes back to school, all these ideas are what? Assassinated. Before uh, the end of the day. So when will the building reach its end? When after building, someone will come and pull it down. So we need to make effort, collective effort. That's why uh, we have to go back to tradition. We have to stick, my Muslim brothers and sisters, we have to stick and behold on the tradition of Islam. Islam came with rituals. Salat, Zakat, Hajj, and all this that you know. Quran came with what? Shara'i, Hudud. Quran also came with what? Akhlaq, the manners, morality. And Quran came with what? Traditionality. There is Islamic tradition, how things are done Islamically. So when I see your house, something is going wrong. According to Islamic tradition, I don't just be laughing at you and think that I am fine and you are wrong or you are not doing wrong. No. I have to make sure that when the fire in the house is distinguished by the way I will approach you because if I keep quiet, my house will what? In fire. So these are very important traditions. In Africa today we have it. Collective training we call it. Collective discipline. When I was a kid, young boy, I'm not afraid only of my dad, but I'm afraid of all people. I'm afraid of all of you. You are all like my father. You are all equally, I look at you like my father. And everyone here has the right to discipline me when you see me doing something ugly in the street. To take a cane and whip me. To turn me away, to even hit me and hurt me and wreck me somewhere. I would go home crying, and my father would say, What happened? I said, This man did this to me. And if you mention the name, the following morning, my dad would go to him, his house, and thank him. Thank you for this that you did today. If it's today, the next minute, it's 911. <laughs> <laughs> 911. Because this is how communities are corrupted. There is no collective. Because you are not there always. You, you now you go to work. Your son's at school. If I came to pick up my, my son and I saw him doing something ugly, I have as a Muslim to try. 
So that's why in this country, in America, we talk about that things have to be, we have to keep the tradition. And we have to say no to any attempt to de-traditionalize us. Do not allow anyone to de-traditionalize you. That is the tradition of Islam. De-traditionalization means taking you away step by step out of Islam. Then your, ch your child, no one can control him or her. She is talking to boys, doing these things, maybe smoking, next time, join gangs, and the end, being shot, dead. And we are losing. So it's very important that we keep the tradition of not just Salaam, brothers. Not just, you know, uh, um, uh, 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 Sayyam and Zakiyat. Not just, uh, we know the Sharia, but the traditionality that comes to govern, to help us to cage, to, not to cage, that's not good, but to uh, no, um, protect. I think the of the Protect us, it's okay, you know, that's in the cage. To protect us, that should not be uh, deleted. It's very important. And you should all be able to, you know, transmit these things. So we have building, strong and dynamic Islamic community in, in America, in America, in America, in America, not in Africa, not in Saudi Arabia, in the United States of America. This entails what? This gives us what? I mean, what does it qualify? What are things that since we say in America, what should we realize as Muslim community, strong, dynamic Muslim community in America, it entails for one, what? The prize giving shop. Patience. Patience. What's your name? Acceptance. Acceptance. What is your name? Samir. No, this is a cheap. This is a big. You know, gift. I'm serious. Acceptance. <laughs> Bashir. Samir. Oh, it's a Bashir and Samir. The rhyme. And what again? Patience. Acceptance. And what? Sisters. I don't hear you speaking, sisters. What do we need to do? I mean, strong, dynamic Muslim community in America. It, what, the, what doors does it open for you? And how do you think we should act in order to safeguard our Muslim community in America? Just. Huh? Just. just. There's justice here in many ways. Aizza. Aizza. Tawakul Allah. Allah. I like the, uh, uh, the, the, the patience and Acceptance. Learning to love. Learning to love, it goes back to the, uh, the first uh, item that we said. Now, what's that Perseverance. Well, it's, it's patience. It's patience. Mm -hmm. it's patience. Experience and patience go together. Understand that. What's your name? Jim. Jimmy? Jim. Jim. Thank you. He's in now. Yeah, he don't. He don't get those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Islam encourages business. We need to get involved. <laughs> so, what do you say? Understanding the community. Understanding, meeting to be. Yeah, I mean, so this tells you, this is very perfect. It means that we should not import fatwas. <laughs> we cannot sit here and import fatwa from Saudi Arabia. We need fatwa that goes by according to the conditionalities here, the situation that we face here, the challenges. There are things that we can import. You can import this, import pen. But when it comes to what Islam regulates, we can take the general you know, fatwa of Salah, which is fine. But there are many social issues that we need to home grown. We need a scholars here knowing what is and what is not powerful. There are many, I don't want to go too much. This can take a whole lecture. Mm. Homegrown muftis. Not imported muftis. Because someone can just come from Egypt or from Saudi Arabia or from Kuwait today and give you a fatwa which doesn't match, which does not conform with the love here. It's all about Saudi Arabia. The Azan cannot, it's not called you know, love here. I mean, there's no, you know, um, majlis around everywhere. There's no Muslims yeah, in the, um, as ministers that we can... I mean, these are all situations. So there are issues where we need to have a certain way of... Al-Imam Al-Qarqawi, rahimahullah, wa matta'ala bi'ilmihi, he's alive, mashallah, in Qatar, Al Jazeera TV. He had a book that, Fiqh al-Waqi'. The jurisprudence of what? 
reality, day in day of life. How to how to rule, how to apply Islamic Sharia based on the challenges of our lives in America. This doesn't mean in any way that we compromise. This doesn't mean compromise. So you know, the Jay said, so Alhamdulillah, uh, Zohar and Asr Maghrib, I'm just going to combine them at one time. I'm not calling for that. Yeah, adaptability. Adaptability. To adapt to the situation but without, comprom without, without compromising. Please, without compromising the core Islamic cornerstones. Mm. Salat, Siyam, Zakat, Hajj, Akhlaq, you know, all these things, and Sharia, no. But I'm talking about there are many issues, you know, which could, could be based, but we can still go around. Imam Shaja, I mean, I don't want to, you know, maybe if I say something, someone will miss, so I'm going to leave that well, until someone asks later on. But there are issues that, American-wise, you are in a darura. It is a necessity. But if you go to Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, it's not a necessity. I'm not calling for people to, I don't want to open the door wide and someone to take my word as a, you know, ladder to start doing things out of many, many things. But when you ask me one on one, I know what to say to you. Because of the importance of not misunderstanding or misinterpreting. But issues here, you can do it, but other places are going to do it because of the work. And it is, there are many examples of this in the, uh, in the, the life of Aha, Imam Abu and Shafi of Erun. When Shafi was in uh, Iraq, his fatwa, the same question, different when he came to Egypt, different realities. It's not going, it's not, in a, uh, it's not like Hila, it's not trying to, you know, go around, but looking at the work and the reality, this is possible here, it's not possible over there. So we have to. No, take ideas. In conclusion, conclusion America, what I'm trying to say here is when we have any debate, when we have differences between our brethren, between the wonderful sisters, between our community, we have to be very careful. We have to be very careful. We have to be able to restore it with peace and love. When there's any difference, we have to be able to diffuse it with peace and love and understanding. We shouldn't harshly correct a mistake. When anyone, any brother or sister in the masjid is doing something that you think is bidah, you think that is wrong, you think that is not in conformity to Sharia, smile. Don't just be like you are a monkey and a kid. <laughs> well, like there's a brother in the masjid, because of the slightest difference, he said to the people, I'm going to count one, two, three. If you don't get out, I'm going to kick you out. And he said, one. Uh, this is not a fair thing. One, two, three. And he jumped like a boom, forcing them out. It's ugly because of ignorance. If we, we are different in our opinion, I smile to you. First, smile. Let me know that you come in loving him, not hating him. Because if this man is used to something that is wrong, then he needs your help. If you see a dog, for instance, it may be a wrong mistake. If a dog is coming to fall in the beach, what would you do? If you have a means, you come out and cover. Because he doesn't see. It's coming to fall. So when someone is doing something wrong, you think it will take him to well, he has a help or something. You need to cover him more than the dog. I mean, you don't come and you know, kill the dog. You come and talk to him, show him the way. So it is how you do. Because that is the natural. That is why the Prophet is showing us how to build the Ummah. When someone, one of the companions, companions, listen, companions, Hanuma, companions, Sahabi, it's not just any lay man Muslim, he's a companion, Sahabi. He was a drunkard. He is addicted to alcohol. Always drunk. During the time of the Prophet Muhammad, and the Sahabas came cursing him, sentencing him to Jahannam, dooming him. And the Prophet looked at them, fury, and very sad. He said, Why are you doing so? 